Welcome to Vanessa Makes Stuff. I'm Vanessa and I like to make stuff. Today, we are making a spooky ghost. I would like to dedicate this video to two people today. What? It's crazy, right? Shirley Cohen and Sean Potter. Happy birthday! This is the birthday dance. Happy birthday! Guys, I love you both. Thank you so much for watching. And this one is for you both. Both of you. I'm so excited to make this ghost, partly because I don't know if I can do it. It's gonna be a lot of work. We'll see if I fail, because I might fail. This might be too hard for me to do. But if it is a successful one, it is gonna be amazing. It's going to be spectacular. It's gonna be just the greatest thing on earth, and you're welcome. To make a spooky ghost, you're gonna need a few things. Chicken wire. <laughs> two feet by 25. Not one, but two cans of spray paint. The flat protective enamel, very important. It's gonna protect it and it won't rust. So if you leave it outside, because that's where we're gonna put our ghost. The glow in the dark. So it gets that spookular effect at night. Some wire cutters, oh, a trash bag, a big one. We're gonna cut it. And of course, some scissors. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open it up and get the chicken wire out of the container. I almost have it all out. There's like a sticker on the bottom and it is just a nightmare. It's all over my, look at my fingers. It's like all over my fingers. Oh, there's another one on the side. <laughs> Hardest part is getting this stuff off, this sticker thing. I've actually never used chicken wire before. Surprise. <laughs> it's wrapped up, so just snip the thing that's holding it together with your wire cutters. And then that should open it up, I believe. Do, 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 do. All right. If you want to put on gloves so it doesn't hurt your hands, you're more than welcome to. I brought gloves, but I think I'm just going to risk it. Let's do this. So this is what it looks like when you're cutting the chicken wire. As you can see, it's a lot of work. I would probably get better wire cutters than this tiny little jewelry one. This is taking a lot of effort. Uh, I hope it's worth it. It is. It's going to be worth it. I obviously have no idea what I'm doing right now. I thought this might be easier to do in pieces because I want it to look like a dress. It took me forever to use those wire cutters. I would use the gloves. My hands really hurt and I feel like I just ran a mile. I'm sweating. Piece by piece, we're going to put this together and hopefully this is gonna work out. I want it to go like this, use this as the base of the, the dress. So now we're gonna connect the pieces, like a puzzle piece, we're gonna put them in between each other. We're gonna use our fingers, I'm just gonna connect the pieces and wrap them so it's nice and tight. If you wanna use gloves on this part because we are taking pieces and we're wrapping them in between, ones that are sticking out and it might kind of hurt the ends of your fingers, but I work with my hands a lot, so. I don't have to worry about that. I poked myself, see? That's probably why it's a good idea to use the gloves. <sighs> uh, it's merely a flesh wound. Here is the bottom part, and I'm so excited. This will be the base. I cut the second piece. We're gonna do the exact same thing we did with the first piece. We are gonna wanna make sure to fold it so it doesn't automatically curl up. We're gonna fold it the opposite way because it's still part of the flowing part of the dress. This time, we are going to also trim the bottom part so we can connect it to this one it is at the bottom so then we can connect the two together ah that was a hard one so now we're going to work on the top piece we're going to want to measure around so you want this part to be tight and then have it poop out like a dress just manipulating the wire and pushing it out so it kind of looks like our glass figure now we have three set pieces. The base, which is the biggest piece of the middle, and then we have our top piece. We're gonna put it together right now. So I have just attached all the pieces. I am going to need like a million band-aids. <laughs> I put down some trash bags and we're gonna spray paint this puppy. Not that puppy. James is watching me right now in the corner. But this one, we're gonna spray paint the ghost. So we gotta let this dry for an hour, and then we're gonna do the glow in the dark. A lot of people believe there's nothing scarier than a ghost. Ghosts are spooky. Everyone's afraid of ghosts because we don't know what they are. We don't know if they're dead. We don't know if it's like a spirit or if it's just energy. If they're good, you don't know if they're bad. You don't know if they're gonna throw objects at you or if they're gonna move your car keys and you can't find your car in the morning. We don't know, so we're afraid of it. Like we're afraid of death, we're afraid of ghosts. We're afraid of being scared. We tend to be afraid of things we don't know. I have a friend, she's a stylist. She just got all these great jobs and it kind of stopped and she's scared because she's like, I don't know when I'm gonna get my next job and she's worrying about money. And I'm like, you don't have to know how you're gonna get there. You just need to know where you're going. 
brain and eventually everything will just fall into place. I would quote Dr. Wayne Dyer, but I don't know the quote exactly, but he says something that is similar to this. If you're driving a car and it's nighttime, when you have your headlights on, you only see the first 15 feet in front of you. You can't see anything further than that. So why aren't we freaking out more when we're driving at night? Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get home. You know where you're going, you know the destination, you know how to get there, but you only can see the first 15 feet in front of you. So why don't we apply that to life? Why is that so hard? Me being an actor, I can work maybe once a month or I'll get a ton of work and I'm like, oh, what am I doing? It's just so much. It doesn't matter. You don't need to know, oh, am I gonna get paid this day or is this gonna happen, is this gonna happen? Because it will eventually come because I know where I'm going. If you keep your eye on the final destination and you do everything proper to get there, eventually you will. It doesn't matter if you know how or not, just know you're going home. Let's check out our ghost. Here's the finished product. It looks like a dress and it does glow in the dark. And I am just as shocked as you are that I actually pulled this off. James, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, that means he likes it. Perfect for Halloween. Thanks for watching Vanessa Make Stuff. I make new things every Tuesday. If you have something you want me to make, just leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Mmm, tastes like Tuesday.